Marcus. I have a few minutes. What do you need? Our one month anniversary is coming up in a few days. It is? Really? You don't remember? One month anniversary, it's not even a thing. So, hey, uh, Marcus, did Tommy, you get a, Oh, geez. You tell Marcus that a one month anniversary is a thing. You, a uh, one month anniversary? A one month anniversary. Oh yeah, you you want me to tell him that a one month anniversary is a thing? Okay. Yeah, I I I, I can tell <gasps> him. Stop filming me. A one month anniversary. What the heck is that? Yeah, well you wouldn't know. You never make it to one. Hey, month. Hey, 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 hey. Very funny, smart guy. You watch out. That that's a red flag with that girl. What are you talking about? One month anniversary. Oh, that's a, what's that? Um, I need those coupons for Foot World for season. Do you believe his girlfriend? Wants him to buy her a gift for their one month anniversary? Yeah, one month? Like, what the heck is that? Like, that's brutal. That's yeah, away yeah. from that girl. <laughs> so, what do I do? Maybe six month anniversary? Six? Six? Yeah, yeah six. Six. So I, I like working on 10 year sure, increments yeah. myself, but, you know. Six months know. is good. You know why? Because you're young. You won't even notice. Save a little cash. You won't even make that part. What? Oh, you wanted those, uh, yeah, you wanted those coupons. Yeah. What's going on? What are you doing? Oh, my God. Oh, I told him not to do anything. You guys, what are you doing? I said don't do anything. What do you mean? He's finally got an arrow sticking out of him. Get him, get him to lie down. You should lie down. Hey, what do you mean? That's a bad knee. I'm just pulling it around. Did you call me? 911 put us on hold. They put you on Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I told you not to do anything. And you shot him. I can't believe Darnell hit him. Darnell actually hit somebody with an arrow. That's actually not even far from where the apple was. Pretty good shot, actually. Selfie. Don't no, take no, a no, selfie, no. he's injured! Oh my god, what is wrong with you people? Oh, I got a good picture. Oh, Yes, hello and welcome to Margaret and Darnell's Bucket List. I'm your host, Tommy Lindholm. Uh, Darnell, it looks like you're as confused as I am about why we're on the beach today. Well, I'm always that uh, confused, but women are a mystery, Tommy. And Margaret just hasn't been the same. She's been very secretive lately. Ever since the death of Petey, I just don't know what she's thinking. Yeah, no, that's true. Uh, that has been a real uh, thorn in her side. Yeah. Um, so what do we do? Well, we respect Margaret's wishes, and we wait. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Sorry. going on here what is Margaret on a horse why is Margaret on a horse wow <laughs> what's going on I think I know my god that is impressive <laughs> oh my god you want to do god. this right what is going on Darnell Pugsley Walker, will you be my husband? What? <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I will marry you. Aren't you guys married already? <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You guys, are, aren't you married already? No. You, no, no. You've, you've just been living together. Yeah, so long. Yeah, it's tradition. You know, the only thing missing is 
some gunfire and the release of a free-range chicken into the wild. Wow, what, According what? to Thompson tradition, we have five days to get married. So that's this week's bucket list. Whew. Five days to get married. Okay, well, uh, well, look at that. I guess we here at Channel 10 can expect our own royal wedding. <laughs> make sure you stay tuned for that. Congratulations, you guys. <laughs> Jojo, we're going to need to make some calls. <sighs> so then his toenail falls right off into my hand. <laughs> oh. That's gross. This, this is this is a bridal shower. Can we please stick to that? I just want to say <laughs> thank you. This has been such a special surprise for me. <laughs> you ready for the nookie? The nookie, nookie. yes. Yeah, good. <laughs> I love nookie whistles. What is, you know, sex? The honeymoon? The honeymoon! The honeymoon. <laughs> yeah. You, you do know what sex is, right? <laughs> Hold up, y'all. Scotty mentioned the sex thing last night. Oh, for <laughs> bloody sake. I must have forgotten to tell her and her. Hundreds? <laughs> You're kidding, Raj. You know what six is. Why are we laughing? Okay. This might be my fault. I gotta fix this. Okay. Good for you. Go talk to her. What the hell with that? I'm I'm getting out of dodge. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is really uncomfortable now. Mama's got a little dog down at the track that's not gonna bet on himself. Right. Okay. That there, doctor lady. She's gonna tell you all about the lady stuff, okay? So lady stuff. Best to listen up. Okay. Then you can go throw up over there. Bye. I guess it's just up to us. Right. Margaret, come here, let's tell you about it. And Susan, you'd better listen to. Right, so, um... Freedom and we? What? Oh, oh, oh my oh. God. Is that better than that? Uh, well, you don't know how much this means to me, guys. <laughs> so you ready for the nookie? <laughs> I love all sorts of nookie. Don't you, Tony? Um, yeah, of course. <laughs> nookie, you mean sex, right? Of course! Jeez! What are you, like, 14? <laughs> <laughs> you mean adult and say sex. <laughs> what sex? I'd rather have nookie. Uh, sex. <laughs> sex is nookie. It means the same thing. It's the same. Well, now I'm confused. I get this all the time down at the office. You're a pediatrician. How many kids do you get asking about sex? Look, I'm going to regret this, but are you telling me that you've never had sex with Margaret? Okay, you're going to you're gonna have to walk me through this, <laughs> Dr. Mike. Do you have those dolls? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I'm here in here somewhere. Careful now. Careful. Tell me now. You can demonstrate for me. I trust you. Oh, um... Here you oh, go. Okay. Um, Show me what this sex thing is. Uh, this is you, and this is Margaret. And Let's get them clothes on. Oh, calm down. Let's buy our dinner first. Hey, no, hey, no. Hey. Dinner comes on the third date. On the third date? <laughs> is it me? What's it getting hot in here? It is definitely not getting hot in here. It is not getting hot in here, Darnell. And you're just simply overthinking it, Darnell. Overthinking? Oh, God. oh Barry. You ruin everything, like you kill Petey, and then I have to avenge him, and now I've got love all over me! You got some nerve, buddy! Okay, some... Lamont, calm down, big shooter. I just want to know what the sex is. Okay, so, uh, this is you, this is, hey, honey, how's your day? And she's like, ah, that's really nice. And you, you look lovely, and you like, oh, this dress would look better on the floor.
<laughs> so how was your day? It was good. You know, we had um, tea with the oh. girls. <laughs> yeah, I was just hanging with the guys. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. That wedding. Are you, are you nervous? No. Yes. No and yes. I mean, did you know about Barbie? <sighs> did you know that I'm a flower? And I'm a bee. And a lot of, well, I, just, I just don't want to get stung. I think I'm the one who gets stung. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, G.I. Joe was the one that was really aggressive there. Mm. Did you know about the kissing? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. These feelings that are like, ah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> right? And your eyes are very sparkly. sparkly. Should be twice. Amazing. What if it's the one thing I'm not good at? Or, um, I might not. Maddie, it's good to see you. I wish I could say the same. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, the wedding is uh, part of my show. Great, they didn't tell me about that. Slinking out at three o'clock in the morning. Oh, no. Let's not bring our fizzled relationship into this. <laughs> you tore a hole in my heart. I cared for you. That's very sad, but look, um, it was a year ago and it was two in the morning and you're an officer of the court so you can officiate the wedding and that's what's important. You're always a stickler for those details, weren't you? Do you know how many pictures I cut your face out of? Carpal tunnel, Tommy. Carpal tunnel. Yeah, well, you know how... You know how many I... There, uh, there, what happened I, to the other minister? Why look, the panic call to me? There was a bit of an incident with the other minister. Look, the, some spilled hot coffee. They stepped on some nails, maybe fell on a misplaced kazoo. It's not a big deal. You're here now, and that's what's important. You know, I feel... Uh, I feel a twinge coming on in my back. Oh, you so. know, I, I, don't worry about that. Hey, Jojo. Jojo, can I get your help here? <laughs> Look, Maddie's here. And she's a little bit nervous about Darnell and Margaret. And I just wanted you to make sure she's taken care of and that she signs a waiver. <laughs> hey, I know you. Yes. I know you. Yeah, yeah. I don't envy you with these crazy people. Tommy's not setting me up, is he? <laughs> No, Maddie, it's actually been really good with these guys. It's been great. What the fuck? Um, Javelin! Javelin! Yeah, it's uh, part of the Thompson traditions, that and something called swatting a toddler. <laughs> I love javelins! Oh god, she is so drunk. Oh, yeah. oh man. Look, I'm here to protect you. I'll make sure you're Incoming. totally safe. Duck! <laughs> oh, uh, see? I, uh, I protected you. <laughs> Um, uh, can I take you inside? Donnell and Margaret, I'm so happy to be here with you today. And I just wanted to wish you all the very, very best. And Margaret, don't forget all the things that I told you about, okay? Have a lovely time and have a lovely honeymoon. What a beautiful day. It sure is. Mm. You know, one day that could be us. You think? No, who knows? I try not to plan 10 years in advance. Hey, listen, Buster. You can't just pick the beautiful goods I bear and then just waltzy on out of here. The goods? Everything has been consensual up until this point. Let's not complicate things. Complicated? Oh, it's gonna get complicated. Are you strong enough to be my man? Excuse me. Am I seeing a damsel in distress? Yeah, take away his.
And like I say, he's like a son to me, and, and it's very hard, very hard to let him go and let this woman have him for the rest of his life, if he lives that long, which I doubt. But all the best anyway, you two. Welcome, welcome all. Please take a seat. We are here today to celebrate the union of Margaret C. Otter Thompson and Darnell Pugsley Walker. While I've never met Darnell and Margaret, I can see an undying love a love that has survived food poisoning, bee stings, foot injuries, and the death of a family member, Petey. Damn you, Barry. So without further ado, we will continue in the Thompson tradition as outlined in this letter with blood on it that Margaret has just given me. Thank you, you may want to wear gloves for that. Why didn't you tell me that before? I didn't know you had a blood letter. We will begin with the surrendering of the groom by the bride's mother. Now we have something called the grievances of the family and friends. Jojo, <laughs> your place is over here. <laughs> Allie, keep an eye on her, would you please? <clears throat> and finally, we asked Darnell if he released the free range chicken into the wild. <laughs> I can confirm that Tiny is in a better place. Yes. yes. Then according to this text, you may now summon your bride. Everybody's gonna wish, hey, what's on your bucket list for Tiny? 